here's the uh, rear panel just assembling so I've painted all as you can see um, I've screwed those panels in I think that works quite nicely um, I might um, I'll show you the back of it actually that they just screw in there screws this has got a couple of um, uh, notches that sit in the back of there um, I think it's very slightly proud as you can see um, let's get that in the camera. so what I might do is just sand down the top of those notches uh, uh, just so the, the the frame bit just sits in a little bit um, and then that will just push back very slightly I don't want it to push back too much um, I think it's just sort of sit in there um, I'm not sure how much that's meant to be proud uh, if you can see the edges of that. So it's probably meant to be a little bit proud because it's square. Um, I'll have a look on the drawing, see uh, see how he's done it on the... Um, I've got the 3D uh, um, Autodesk viewer looking at the body there, so I'll, I'll just check how much that's meant to come out. But it, I mean, it looks all right. So that's... Um, I'm quite pleased with that. You can see join marks slightly there, but it's going to be at the bottom from a distance it's going to be all right so that's that bit um, I've glued these sides on as I was just mentioning so I've just got to give these a respray give those a respray um, but I, I, I quite like the the, uh, the green and the metal I was thinking of swapping it around and, and doing that silver and still sort of making up my mind just got to respray these because I sprayed them upside down as usual that's my, that's my habit because they go inside so I've just got to spray the outsides um, getting ready to put the doors on I've lost the, the bolt the bolt hinges which I've printed and I also printed some um, really thin washers can't find them anywhere so I'm just going to reprint those um, I've printed the back hinge sections as well which I'm going to put on later as well so just getting all that ready um, what else have I got uh, I think that's for the minute just to it's, it's still pouring well it's just stopping raining so i might try and do some spraying see um or do it later on this afternoon see how it goes so that's how we're going okay as you can see i'm working on the gripper arm gripper hands um i've put the screws right the way through the middle uh so i'm going to put nuts on the back um just to give it a bit more uh sort of strength so it's i'm just loosening up the the filament inside i printed a few just so i've got a few spares um, but that's beginning to, as you can see, a bit looser. Um, I'm going to glue that on in a second, but uh, you can actually sort of see how it might work. So, in fact, yeah, definitely. I've put in quite a bit of pressure on there, but not not that much. So I've just been uh, sort of loosening the whole assembly up to just get it to uh, get it to work like that. So I'll just show you again inside. Bit quite tight the screws, so it's quite good. So there, that's the um, helping. Make sure you can see that. The little hinge in there. So really, I've just been um, working on that so it's smooth inside there. But I did find having the um, screws right through. Base helped right through, you know, through there because it stopped moving that way. Um, I've got to obviously let's turn that back off again. Got to glue the filament onto the end of the uh, on the end of the the hinge there, which I'll do. I've drilled a little hole in it, so I'll super glue that in it actually and try that in a few minutes. So that's sort of game there. Um, I've silver painted that bit. Um, there's another bit where, which has gone missing, which goes on the end. Um, so that's gonna, that's gonna hopefully work. So that's that arm. This is the uh, the other arm, the other, um, now that I have got, as you can see, I've had that working for a while, I've, I've painted the, the bit that goes in the end there, um, I might paint it a different colour actually, but I've got it um, 
somewhere. <laughs> I've, got, I've got bits all over the place. I'll, I'll look for that in a second. So that, that one's done. Um, I'm working on the hinges, uh, which I'll show you later. Uh, and um, thought I'd try and get these out of the way. So that, that's where I'm with, with uh, these arms so far. So I'm going to just uh, see if I can glue that uh, nylon filament onto the end there and see how that works. At least it pushes rather than pulls. So I think um, that, that will help the, uh, the whole thing. So uh, I'll do that now. I've just super glued that in there. So um, I'll give that a say. I've given it a quick spray with the activator. So that should be super glue out of the way. Should be enough strength in that. Right, I'm just going to screw that one just with these couple of screws for the moment. Uh, it's got a bit of give. You see that? Well, it sort of works. I think I just need to. Um, actually, no, it definitely does work, doesn't it? It's not, I don't know how much it's. Yeah, it's made of open quite a bit. So I think um, I'm just going to have to work on the the whole looseness of loosen up of the, the spring effectively. Get the get, um, within there. I don't think that's going to give it enough pressure to open it that far. But I think that's a bit of a result so far. So, so anyway, I'll call that a result, I think. So both of those are sort of getting there. Um, I think they look good. Tighten it up, put some nuts on the back of that. Um, I bought some little black uh, nuts uh, somewhere, which I'll put on those just to, on the back of there. Um, so that is where we are with those two. <laughs> 